It is time for a jam session, and this jam session is gonna work your upper body and your abs. Now you may be thinking, uh, I thought jam sessions were only for musicians, but not today. I'm putting a twist on our strength session, and we are gonna work it jam sesh style. Now the only thing you need for this workout will be your dumbbells, also a mat or a cushy surface. We will be on the ground for some of the ab and upper body exercises. This workout today has three total rounds. The first round, we're gonna work upper body. The second, we're gonna work abs, and then we're gonna hit the upper body again. Now we are gonna work the chest, the back, the shoulders, the biceps, and the triceps for an all out upper body workout, as well as working the abs and the obliques. Now this workout has a lot going on, so I'm really gonna challenge you today. The reason this is a jam session is because we are working a lot. We are going to be mixing things up with the tempo. We are gonna be mixing things up with the work time. We're gonna be mixing things up with the rest time. So we really have a lot going on. Make sure you are ready with your water bottle and towel as well, because I have a feeling things might get a little sweaty in here. But I don't know if you can tell, I'm so excited for this workout because I know it is going to be an awesome one. We have less than 30 minutes to work. So grab your dumbbells. We are starting with a narrow grip press. And as we begin this workout, you will see how this timer is set and it will all kind of fall into place. So grab your dumbbells and let's do this. All right, so grabbing our weights for this narrow grip press, palms are gonna be facing you. We're gonna press up overhead and lower down. Right now, we're working at a regular tempo. So get into position and let's begin. Working 45 seconds here. Good, exhale as you press up. Working full range of motion all the way up, all the way down. We'll get 25 seconds of rest in between each set here for the upper body exercises. And we're gonna work this, uh, this exercise two times through followed by a pulse set. Good, Whew. almost there, a few more reps. Anytime you need to adjust your weight up or down, make sure to listen to your body and do so. Here's one, oh, good, breathe it out, shake it out if you need to. So for this next set, I'm gonna challenge you with adjusting your tempo. So we're gonna do a nice slow count up, we're gonna do a nice slow count down. It's really gonna keep those muscles under tension longer, helping us build and define those shoulders. We've gotta go in about five seconds. So get ready, back into position. You can go at your own tempo, but we're gonna take it up nice and slow. Nice and slow, good, and control it down. Good. Up. All the way up, all the way down, even though we're going slower here. And down. Good. You're doing awesome. Breathing. Getting close, we're almost there. A few reps left. Can you feel the shoulders? This next set is gonna be all about pulsing, but the timer is going to be a little bit shorter. Last one. Good, breathe, enjoy your recovery. If you need to adjust your weight down or up, you can do that. Breathing here. We go in just about 10 seconds. So pulsing, it's gonna look like this, just like that. Again, same narrow grip position. We go in three, two, one. Here we go. So keeping that range right about halfway. Little move up and down. This timer is only set for 30 seconds. Good. Breathing. You're almost there. 10 seconds. Good, five, three, two, one. Whew, shake it out, awesome job. Next exercise we are going into, you've got a short recovery, so shake it out, grab a drink anytime you need to. We have got wide curls, so we're gonna take those palms, turn them out, just like this. So palms are out at an angle here. Grab your weight for that. This is a normal tempo for this first set. Breathing, palms out. Let's begin. 
and squeeze. Make sure you get that squeeze at the top. Really focus on the muscle you're working. That's gonna help build that muscle even more. Squeeze, good. Twenty seconds. <sighs> Breathing. <sighs> Good. <sighs> that break is coming up in three, two, one. <sighs> awesome. Rest it out here. If you need to adjust your weight up or down, do so now because we are going to change the tempo. So we are gonna work slow up and slow back down. You've got about 10 seconds, so breathe it out. I'm gonna shake it out for a second. Whew. Awesome job, five seconds. Let's get ready. Wide curl again, slow up, slow down. Here we go, squeeze. Taking it slow and slow down. All the way down, all the way up. Less reps with the slower tempo, but that is okay. Still focusing on good form here. And squeeze. Hold it at the top for a second, get that squeeze, and then control it down nice and slow. Almost there, this is gonna be the last one. Squeeze, and you're gonna get a break. And down, awesome. Now we have that pulse. So you're gonna get a short break here, and then we've got that pulse. I'm gonna go down a little bit and wait for this one just to make sure I can keep my form. So when you do that, make sure shoulders are down away from your ears, rolled back and down. We're gonna be halfway up, pulsing. So we've got 10 seconds, grab your weight, get into position. We're gonna hold it halfway and pulse it. We go in three, two, one, here we go. Good, pulse. Exhale with that pulse. Awesome job. Halfway now. Oh my word, the bicep muscles are burning. We hit back next. But work it here, then we've got one exercise left in this round. Here's two and one. Awesome. Now set your weights down. I'm gonna show you the next exercise. Shake it out, grab a drink. All right, next exercise is a reverse grip row. So we are gonna be hinged at the hips. Palms are gonna be facing out away from you. We're gonna drop it down. We're gonna row, just like this. So grab your weights, challenge yourself. We're working back. These are big muscles here. Grab your dumbbells and let's begin. Keeping that core engaged. Good, exhale as you lift. Hold it at the top just for a second. Get that squeeze in there, feel those back muscles contract and then control it down. Awesome job, we are over halfway. You've got this. Almost there. Breathing, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, next set through. We're adjusting the tempo. All right, this is going to be a tough one. I'm actually gonna go down in weight just to ensure that I'm keeping good form. Listen to your body though, you can always adjust weight during the sets, that's totally fine. But we're gonna go slow, squeeze, hold it, and control it down. We got three seconds, we got two, and we gotta go, here we go. Squeeze slow, squeeze it, hold it, hold it. Control it down. Now work at your own tempo, but hold it at the top there for just a few counts. And squeeze, good. I I'm actually adjusting my weight mid-set because I'm saying, I showed up, I'm gonna make a count. Whew. I'm, I'm burning with you, don't think I'm not. Squeeze, good, hold it. Now, 
good. Oh, you are doing awesome. We are so close. Down, come on, squeeze it up. Almost there, last two, one. Woo. Drop it down, we have got that pulse next. So, we're gonna hold it just about halfway up. Little move, we are just moving about this much with that range of motion from here. So really think about squeezing the shoulder blades around the spine with each rep. We go in 10 seconds. Which weight you going with? 30 seconds to work. Then we get a nice long break. And then we hit the abs. Grab your dumbbells and let's begin. So hold it about halfway and then squeeze. Back flat, core engage. <sighs> Jam session it up right now. Oh my. Shaking, burning, Whew. and squeeze. Whew. Almost there. Here's three, two, one. Awesome job. All right, now we get a break. So set your weights down. We won't use weights at all for the abs, but make sure you've got your mat and then you can meet me down on the ground. We'll hang out down there. That's one of my favorite things when we have extra time to hang out on the ground especially. Oh, all right. Here we are. All right, so for these exercises, I will offer a modification as well, so you can check that out on the screen if you want to use that to work the abs, the first exercise we have. So abs are gonna be a little bit different. Two sets for each exercise. We are gonna work 30 seconds followed by 15. No pulses, it's just this is the exercise, we do it twice through. So work 30 off 15. Slow mountain climber is this first exercise. So we're gonna be out, we're gonna bring it in nice and slow, tap, out, slow. So check the modification if you need that, but let's begin. Keep that core engaged. Again, go at your own pace. You can follow my pace if you'd like, but if you wanna go slower, totally cool. Bring it in. Core engaged, almost there. Elbows, shoulders and wrists all in line. And one, good. Press it back if you need to. We do that once more through. Same thing. So if you're doing the modification, you're gonna switch sides from the sides you were working. Bringing it up, let's begin. Slow tap and out. Make sure as you're doing this, you don't let your hips come up as you're trying to tap it in. Keep everything nice, straight line here. Good. Last one, tap it in and out, awesome. Breathe it out, shake it out. We are going to do, we're gonna keep our legs straight. We're gonna do crunch, crunch, hip lift. So it's gonna look just like this. We're gonna do crunch, crunch, lift. So that's the move. Here we go. Work this at a pretty quick tempo with good form. But I'm telling you what, this is working. Less than 10 to go. And last bit. Ooh. Squeeze it in, you've got 15 seconds. You can stretch it back. That'll give those muscles in the abs a nice break. We gotta go again. This rest timer goes by, boom, like that. Ooh, legs are up. We're gonna do crunch, crunch, lift. Here we go. Crunch, crunch, get those hips up. Exhale with the crunch, crunch, and the lift. Almost there, we're gonna flip it back over into plank position after this. Awesome. Check the modification if you need that for this next exercise. 
If not, we're going into a plank walk. So that's where we're gonna start up. We're gonna walk it down on that forearm, down, up, up. Switching arms as you go. So lead with right, then lead with left. Here we go. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the core. Even when you lower down, elbows, shoulders all in line. Almost there. And one. Whew. Press it back. Working those abs right now. Oh my. I gotta dry off. Less than 10 and we go. We're almost through abs around. We have one exercise after this. Get back into position. Again, follow the modification if you need, but let's begin. Less than 10. There you go, drop it back. All right, next exercise, we're gonna work the obliques. We're gonna keep those legs down and we are gonna twist. So I want you to try to really bring that elbow back on both sides. So alternating sides, here we go. Really get that twist in. Good. Oh my, this is. Oh. Boy, oh boy. We got less than 10, so that's always good news. As I'm shaking and burning. Two, one. Breathe. One more time. Hey, we're done with abs after this. So I'm smiling. We are jamming out right now. I'm feeling it. All right, we go in three. We go in two. Get into position and let's go. Good, exhale with the twist. You can work at your own tempo here with this. Excuse me while I powder my nose. Oh my goodness. And one. Breathing. We're gonna stay on the mat, but it is recovery time. So we're resting it out here. We've got just about a minute left in this recovery. So for the next round, we're hitting all upper body again. We're gonna work the chest, the triceps, and we're gonna hit the shoulders one last time. So for the first two exercises, we're gonna be on the mat. We're going to do a push-up. You can always make the modification for the push-up on your knees and do the push-up on your knees. Then we're gonna do a close grip chest press. So we're gonna get our dumbbells for that one. And then we're gonna bring it back up to stand to finish it out with a regular shoulder press. So three exercises to go. We're gonna work that same style that we did in round one where we work a slow tempo, we work a regular tempo, and then we have pulses, except for push-ups. So for push-ups, we're gonna do two regular tempo, followed by a slow down for that 30 second push. So get into position, we gotta go. That rest is over, let's begin. So regular tempo here for our push-ups. Squeeze in and breathe in. Work at your own pace. Push-ups are an awesome compound exercise because although we are working the chest, we've got the core in there as well. Arms are working a bit as, as long or as well. But squeeze the glutes, squeeze the legs. That's gonna help you out with those push-ups. Come on, we've got a few reps left in us. We're almost there. And one. Breathe, 30 seconds to rest. We've got that again. So for this next round, same tempo again. So for the final set for push-ups, for that 30 second push, we are gonna take it very slow down, normal tempo up. 
<sighs> breathing. We go in five seconds. Get back into position. <sighs> and let's begin. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the core. I'm telling you that helps. And remember to push the floor away from you. Don't try to push yourself. Think about pushing that floor away. Almost there. And one, oh, awesome, breathe it out. So let me show you the tempo for this next one, just so you understand. Oh. So for the next one, we're gonna take it very slow down with the push-ups. I'm gonna show you on my knees for right now. I'm gonna try to do some on my toes, but. So we're gonna go nice and slow down, hold it, and power back up. That's gonna be the tempo we're working for 30 seconds. You got this, dig deep and get ready. Here we go. Slow, 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 take it slow, hold it, power up. Exhale with that power up, nice and slow. Hold that chest down, come on, hold it down. Power up, good, breathing, Whew, almost there. Power up, we've got time, one more. Slow, slow, slow. Power up. Whew. Amazing, oh yes. All right, next exercise, because we do not have long to rest, you're gonna need your dumbbells. We are doing a close grip chest press, so we'll be down on the mat, palms will be together, we're gonna be pressing and lowering. Really gonna target your tricep muscles, so grab your dumbbells and let's get ready. You know what? We gots to go. Let's begin. Working at a normal tempo here. Exhale as you press up. Good. So hitting the chest a little bit here again, but also the triceps are working. Good, keep your wrists straight. And up, almost there. Less than 10 to go. We're gonna slow the tempo down next. And one. Good. Whew. Shake it out. So for this next round, I don't know. We are shaking, so this is gonna be super challenging. But we're gonna slow the tempo down. Slow up. Slow down. Grab your dumbbells. And let's begin. Here we go. Whew. Slow, slow, slow. Hold it. Down. Slowly exhaling as you lower. We're still not down. We're still not down. All right, we're down. We're going up slow. This slow tempo is not about trying to get in a crazy amount of reps. Just working through full range of motion and working in it That always seems necessary when we do slow. <laughs> a slow tempo. I had to go there. I went there. Oh, almost there. Last time, count it slow down, slow, slow. And we're down. Whew, shake it out. This is, this is pulse time. We got 15 seconds and we go. So we're gonna hold it halfway. Palms are still gonna be facing each other. We're gonna lift and lower. And then guess what? You are gonna be at your last exercise after this. But we are so close. <sighs> Let's bring it up. Let's begin. Little move. Don't use the momentum. Don't try to bounce it. You are, you are still in control of this weight here. But the move doesn't need to be big. Over halfway. Oh yes, less than 10. I'm counting you down. Here's four, three, 
Two, one. Bring it down. All right, breathe it out. Bring it up for shoulder press. All right, shoulder press, this is it. Three sets left. Shoulder press, normal tempo. We go in 10 seconds, so grab your weight. Again, challenge yourself for this last little bit. It's gonna be, what, just over about three minutes of work. Bring it up. I gotta lower my weight. You begin, you begin. I just put those weights off and I was like, oh, mm -mm, we are not even going there. Whew. And down, good. Normal tempo, core engaged. Slight bend in your knees. You can take a staggered stance like this or a wide stance. Again, whatever is more comfortable. Some exercises vary. Some, some exercises I like the wide, some I like the staggered. But whatever's gonna give you the most power, take that stance and go with it. Awesome job. Oh. Shoulders are gonna be mighty fine. I'm telling you what, we are building, we are defining. Last one. And breathe. Pretty crazy when 5 kg at the end of your workout feels like it's about 20 and I'm like, oh, we are, we're slowing it down again. I won't do my slow-mo action, but we're, we're gonna slow it down. Grab your weights. If you need to adjust your weights again, go ahead and do that now. We go in three, two, one, here we go. And I went so fast up. Slow it down down nice and slow slow at your own tempo but make sure you've got that full range before you head back up arms are up at the top control it down you know we've got the the grand finale of all jam sesh uh, exercises here the shoulder press pulse when things are shaking things are burning the upper body is just under 30 minutes too. You have rocked it. Oh my gosh, you are the bomb. Last little bit. The time is up. Awesome. Bring it down, breathe it out. So that pulse, that pulse is here. We're gonna hold it just about halfway. Boop, boop, little move up and down. Again, don't use the momentum as you get with that pulse. Still control that move up and down. Going in three, two, last 30 seconds. Here we go. Come on, stay nice and strong here. Keep that form. That's 20, 20 to go. Come on, and you have made it. That's 15. I'm hitting every, every five second mark here. You're at 10. Five, four, Three, two, one. You made it. Set your dumbbells down. If, you're, if your arms will allow you, give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> you rock. Holy mackerels. And then some. That was awesome. That was our jam session strength style. I am so happy you joined me for this workout. You pushed me on that one because like if I was here, I would have been like, mm, well, but we did it. We did it together. So thank you so much for joining me. You rock and don't forget your stretch is right here for you. You can head on over to that and I will see you over there. Thanks again. And I love you.